Hey, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn, and this is not doll related. Actually, I want to give y'all an update. Let me see if I can zoom in some. That's our little baby tortoise. Um, she eating on a little bit of apple, all fooling around in the grass. I gave her a little piece of apple. The grass just got cut, so I, I put them out here so they can eat on some cut grass and this is patience she is a baby um what you gonna call it <laughs> she is a baby leopard to snow leopard tortoise and i don't know if y'all recall when she when i first got her and i'm zooming in so she she looks really big but she still fits in the palm of my hand but remember all this was black now you can see the white coming through on her shell as she grow. And patient don't grow a good bit. Patient, let them see your cute little face. And I had patient brought in from Florida. I believe it was Jupiter, Florida. But anyway, y'all, the um, guy that I got patient from, he is here on YouTube. The name of his channel is Camp. Cannon and Camp and Cannon is spelled with the K. And um, he's out in Florida and he raises several different kind of tortoises. And he's all about um, conservatory and stuff with the reptiles and conservation. So he um, do breed. He works with fish wildlife, with the zoos. He takes in some rescues and stuff like that. But I bought them this little pan. So when I'm out here in the yard with them, because they're still too little to leave out in the yard over, um, not even for an hour or 30 minutes, because with them being so tiny, a bird can still get them. Now, why is salt on top of pepper? And those two are the Egyptian tortoises. And they're taking a bath. Pull salt on top of pepper right now. But I just wanted to show you guys, because what um, tortoises do, they walk into their water bowl and they soak and um, dehydrate themselves. They drink water while they're in there as well. And a lot of them uses the bathroom in the water. But um, this is how they stay hydrated. Now, look, look, just look at patient trying to push the, <laughs> the barriers to see if she can escape. But I've been wanting to come on because these two, and I'm going to put them in my hand so y'all can see their size. These two, can, both of them can fit in my hand together. Um, these are what you call Egyptian tortoises. I had these two shipped in from California, overnight from California. These tortoises, full grown, will be no more than four inches. They were both temp sex to be females. But I wanted to come on because those two, as tiny as they are, <laughs> because actually when they born, they can fit on the top the tip of your finger. That's how tiny they be when they're born. And those are what you call Egyptian tortoises. And that's a leopard tortoise. Patience is gonna get way, way bigger than salt and pepper. But um Salt and pepper, guess what? Had a birthday. And they look, this little thing here, wait. I don't know if you can hear it. Cause now the plane wanna come over there just as I'm playing it. So salt and pepper, this y'all little birthday, um, little toy cupcake. And here in this y'all birthday video, and it was singing happy birthday, but I don't know if y'all, look, look a copper, look a copper, copper, why is you, um, in the video? Go somewhere, say hi. <laughs> copper, get from out the video. But anyway, wanted to come on 
wish salt and pepper a year old birthday even though y'all saw me got them earlier this year but they actually turn a year old in july so salt and pepper this is for you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you salt and pepper now look look look, look at patience look at patience as always trying to escape <laughs> gotta love it and this is like one of these little um you can put like little rabbits or dribbles and things like that i don't know if those the birds uh because it was raining it almost sound like cricket sounds but it's coming from the trees so i'm thinking it's a bird or something so if y'all hear that all over my video that's that's what you're hearing Let me see if I can whistle and get... There's a bird that comes here and whistle back with me. And that's me whistling. I usually... It's one that usually be... He must be on gone because he comes every morning by 8 o'clock and we go back and forth, back and forth. But I figured I would come on and let them um, get a little sign. Hold up. Let me see if this one here needs to. You know, I was just a talking, and I don't even think none of the things I say got on film. I had it on video, but I never punched start. Now, I don't remember where to stop that the last time. But like I said, I wanted to come on and give an update. I know um, Miss Penny from Penny, um, she asked Penny Love Dolls, I think it is. But y'all know Miss Penny. She always um, asks me about the turtles and the tortoises and stuff like that. But like I said, these are tortoises. And even though they do, um, and a lot of people think tortoises don't need water, but I keep water with mine all the time. Because, to and especially with the babies, babies go in the water to soak themselves. Babies, um, and not only do tortoises soak themselves in the water and they drink the water, but it's, an, it's a form of, for them to stay hydrated. And that's why they always tell you if you're out in the wild, don't, and you see a tortoise, don't pick it up because a lot of times, they don't know when they're going to get some water again and when they pick it up they get nervous and they end up their body um lets off the water that they're holding and then that makes them hydrated again so that's why they say you can observe them but just don't um pick them up when you see them in the wild because a lot of time they go to the bathroom who knows when they could come across some water again a car riding past too fast for comfort. But like I said, I don't never leave these ones out. This one I'm going in the grass. The sun might be a little too hard for me. Yeah. Let me see a piece. I want her little piece of apple. You want your apple? Oh, the patient did go to the bathroom in that water. I knew she would have. She did. And see, that's what I'm saying. Turtles do go. Tortoises go to the bathroom when they get in the water. These two, very rarely I ever see them go to the bathroom in the water. The patient, she can be in there all the five seconds and she going to the bathroom in the water. But that's the low birthday as well as an updated video on my Egyptian tortoises and my Snow White Leopard tortoise. And like I say, patient, the one who's busy trying to climb the fence. Her. And y'all see, you can see the, and when they call them Snow White, that's mean because most leopard have more black in them, but she will be turning more that blonde color you see on her um, scoots, coming in between the scoots. 
she'll be more of that color, that light white looking color. And then she'll have a little bit of black dots as she gets older. You see the white coming in more and more. Because in the, originally, I thought I was actually just. Hey, if you don't start putting your hair through that thing, this this little one here is so um, mischief. She always trying to keep or get out of sight. Always trying to figure it out. Where's the other two? These two here, they're, they're more docile and quiet. Tell them pepper those, the Egyptian daughters. And like I said, I just came, wanted to come and do an updated video for you guys. And like I said, I don't know where the video cut off at, but I was talking about how I always wanted to go to Florida so I can have my reptiles outdoors year round for the most part. Because um, with the exception of the Egyptians, but that's why I bought this little tiny playpen so I can bring them out to get a little natural scent. But just that fast while I'm doing this video, the sun seemed to be going in and out. I don't know. It rained most of yesterday. But natural sun is good for them. It helps promote their shell growth. Very good for their shell. Because when you keep them indoors, you got to always have a UVA and a UVB um, light on them all the time to help promote the um, shell growth as well as either putting calcium on their food as well as I keep a cuddle bone in their cage where they can um, get calcium through their cuddle bone. So they need that for the shell. But the sunlight is very, very, very good for tortoises. But when they're this tiny, it can hydrate them a little bit too much. As a matter of fact, since this one and poop in the water, let's empty that out. And we'll put some fresh water in there. Let me go get because I used the bottled water. it out. I can't put it in too much, but they got a small little hermit crab water's edge like that and the um key because I got those water's edge and that's where there's a little ramp and they can walk up and drink water, soak themselves or whatever. But this is my little, I don't know if that's a medium or a small one that I used to keep there with my um, small little old juvenile box turtle wing to be indoors. Patience, you want to get some more water? Go soak yourself. Got a plan going over us again. Which you always hear planes going over because several miles down the road is the airport. So you always hear the planes. And like I said, the other two little Egyptians, they turn a year old in July. Because even though I got them earlier part of this year, they were hatched out last year. And the breeder was actually waiting for me to get my set up together before he shipped them off to me. And they were shipped from California. And I tried to contact him to see if he was having any more because I wanted to get some more from him this year. And another set, or at least, even if not two more, um, at least a male. Because they were temp sex to be females, but he said that he haven't had much luck this year with eggs. 
And then plus he got a wedding us as well. But if anything happens or anybody fall off the list, he'll put me, you know, I'll get next in line. But like I say, it's salt and pepper birthday. Let me play the little cupcake one more time. Oops, I got the water in my hand wasting. Let's see if y'all can. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, salt and pepper. Happy birthday to you. I just wanted to come on and show you guys this. And oh, also. Um, and I knew I said I was coming back on, but a lot has been going on these past couple of weeks. Um, y'all know that I told y'all a couple of months ago that I had buried my husband's sister on that Monday. And while we were on our way to her funeral, um, we got word that the brother wasn't going to make it because he was in the hospital. And actually, my husband, her brother which is my husband brother passed away the day after we buried his sister and we had his funeral that Saturday both siblings one on Monday and one on that Saturday well on yesterday the same sister her husband passed away on yesterday so that's my brother-in-law passed away on yesterday so we're going to have um another funeral service however to their family they have my deepest condolences however i know i won't be able to um come to this particular funeral because dad just got out the hospital day before yesterday so i won't um because he went back in and so I won't be able to attend that funeral this week. But to my husband and his family, they have my deepest condolences during their time of bereavement. Y'all continue to pray for everybody in the community. Pray for one another. Miss Penny, I hope you get well soon. Ruth, I see you on your low body. Y'all check out Ruth, the sugar lump babies. Child, she is doing the thing. Ruth got a low bicycle and she, low exercise bicycle and she's stepping with the music, doing her little exercises. See, why is patient climbing on top of this little one? Get over here, patient. See, patient be doing the most. And, um, but I got to get moving too, Ruth. Because I tell you the truth, I am put on some pounds myself. But, um, I got to get back on track. I was just waiting for it to cool down some, though. Because if I move one, one be too many, I tell you the truth, there goes the asthma attack. But I got to get moving. It's just so hard and humid. Because I'm dripping in sweat right now and out here with this video. But I just wanted to come on because I haven't showed them in a while. And it's the first time out in a low pan. Cause this was what I got them for their birthday, so that they, we could come out and do little videos, and they could come out and get some natural sunlight, and just listen to nature, listen to the birds, and see the butterflies and the grasshoppers. And all these tortoises are vegetarian, so they eat the weeds, they eat the grass, they eat vegetables. I try to put them on subs you know I try mixing it with the <laughs> vegetables the commercial diets they don't want to have nothing to do with it they only want the grass greens and weeds and flowers and um and they like their fresh vegetables like I give them cucumbers zucchini squash collards the mixed spring mix but I always have to pick out the spinaches Cause I don't think the spinach and kale is good for them. 
but the rest of the greens are the La Romain lettuce. like I say oh and also um, candy had two little babies follow me on Instagram y'all can see the Yorkies they're three days old today I have to um, take them to go get their tails done at 2 30 so I might get a quick clip of them and link it to the bottom of the, the end of this video I just wanted to come on Show you pepper. That's salt. And like I say, those both are Egyptian tortoises. And finally, this one calmed down and start eating the grass. Realize where he at. And that's patience. Because the fresh grass is good for them. And like I said, I usually come out here and grab grass and weeds and things for them. They love it. And just like the cicada tortoises, those one, um, they're one of the top three largest tortoises. They make excellent lawnmowers for your yard. <laughs> and even if you got a school of leopard tortoises, like patience, when they get bigger, put them out in that yard. They keep that grass trimmed down and weeded for you. Because they go around and eat all the weeds and stuff out the yard. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. And like I say, I will be linking the pups and merging the two pieces together. And until then, see you soon. Okay, I promise you guys when I come back from the vet and check it out. And those little um, spots in there, that's from the little teals getting clipped. So they've been bleeding a little bit. But this is the little boy. He's so little. Yeah, he's so tiny and little. Oh, he just get a little teal done so they're not happy. And they all are crying. And I had the top trying to block the air off of them. And this our little girl. And they are golden Yorkies. But he's a golden party. And that's where you see all the white coming on the mouth under the chest, the spot on the thing. He's what you call a golden party. And that's them. These candy and copper new little Yorkie puppies. But I'm going to take them back in the house to their mom right now. Because as y'all can see, it's time for them to nurse. Let me let her go comfort them. But I just want y'all to see our newest addition here at Embracing Reed Moans. This is your girl Earl, Candy Little Babies, and as you see early in the baby in the video today, the tortoises. But anyway, this is your girl. Thanks for watching.